Okay, you guys, so Chloe Bailey went live and told a very funny story. So she was talking about how she went to the Drake concert and her pants split, y'all. And when I say split, I'm talking about from the back to the front, okay, if you get what I'm saying. And she also talks about how she broke her ankle. Now, I'm going to play her live. I want you guys to listen and let me know what you think about everything in the comments below. Take a listen. <sighs> okay, okay, I'll tell you one more story before I leave. So, I went to the Drake concert. This is a, how my grandma always a part of these funny stories. Okay. I went to the Drake concert maybe uh, four or five days ago. And I put on this like really cute, it kind of looked like a Mugler, like bodysuit kind of thing. You know what I mean? And I'm in the car, we pulling up. And I dressed myself that night. I did my hair and makeup. Like it was just supposed to be a cute little simple outing. And we, we get out the car and her assistant, she calls her and she goes, Chloe, tell Chloe to cover her butt, tell Chloe to cover her butt. So I'm thinking, cover my butt? What do you mean cover my butt? It's covered. It's a pantsuit. So then as I'm walking past the cars, as she says that, and I turn around, I see this old man looking at me like, like that. So there was a split right from my butt crack all the way to my coochie. And I didn't even feel any air or wind. And that's shocking because I laser. I felt nothing. I felt no breeze. <laughs> and the old man saw my stuff, my exposed goods. So I was about to walk up in the concert with exposed goods. <sighs> and <laughs> but the thing is, it was like a, an illusion bodysuit. Where if you wore panties, you would see that the panty line. So I didn't have panties on. I didn't have a thong on. You just saw exposed crack and ass. And immediately I, I tried to cover myself with my purse and my godmom and I were busting out laughing. We're in the parking lot in front of these cars. <sighs> I said, thank God, because I would have been all over online on the blogs. Like, oh, Chloe wants to show her coochie and ass. Get an OnlyFans. But no. So she ends up taking her tank top off from under her shirt and I tie it around my ass. And then I enjoyed the Drake concert. <laughs> you all don't know the shit I be going through in my life. How's my foot doing? My foot's doing pretty okay, to be honest. I have my brace on. I still have my brace on under my shoes. Anytime I work out and, and um, dance and I'm on stage and even at Soul Bloom, I had my brace on. And, you know, I'm finally now able to wear a little bit of elevated shoes. I can't go back to heels just yet, but I can do like little wedges now that aren't too much in elevation because I, I broke like right in the middle of my foot. So someone said, I'm always getting hurt on my leg that you know of. If you should change it to I'm always hurting my left side of my body because I sprained my left side of my back, left side of my neck, sprained my left foot. And I um, broke my foot. But one thing I found out during the x-ray is that I have an extra bone in my left foot. And they say a lot of dancers have that. So that just means that I'm extra special. <sighs> you guys really want to know what caused the injury? Say yes or no. But y'all got to make fun of me. <sighs> Love you, Josie. I'm so proud of you. Congrats to you and your family. Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell. Okay, I'll tell you two stories, and then I'm off. But then I'm gonna go uh, warm up. So, I was at the studio, and I was there till four a.m. I even took a selfie in the elevator that has a mirror. Right before I did it, and I'm leaving. You know, I called my Uber, and I'm walking outside, and it's four in the morning. So maybe I was just really tired. And it was one, one tiny step. It wasn't even multiple steps. It was one step. And I just missed it. It was literally this tall. And I guess I just missed it. And I literally, I literally fall like this, face forward. Boom. There's the filter. I literally fall face forward like, boom. And I hear, and the valet guys and my Uber driver run to me. Ma'am, ma'am, are you okay? Miss, miss, are you okay? I'm like, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. So I know it must have looked really bad because everyone ran to me. So then I'm limping to the Uber. He's like, ma'am, do you need me to take you to the hospital? You need anything? I was like, no, no, I'm 
good. I'm good. Like, I'm gangsta. I'm good. So because I just declined his request to take me to the hospital, I don't want him to see me crying like a pussy in the back of the car. So I'm hiding behind the chair, like hiding my tears deep inside because the pain's not leaving. So I'm like, okay, this feels different than a sprain. Like, like what's going on? So I'm in the back of the car. It takes like 15 minutes to get to my place. And he's like, you sure you don't even take him? I'm like, I'm good. So on a broken foot, I've walked myself up to my building. I finally get in my place. I sit down on the floor. Apollo looks at me. I look down on my foot. It looks like a golf ball on my foot this big. I literally start screaming and crying. That's when I start crying. So nobody can tell me that I'm not gangsta because I walked on a broken foot for at least 50 steps. So I'm never going to underestimate myself again. And that's what happened. And I knew I broke it. And I called my godmom and she took me to the hospital. Literally, like I woke her out of her sleep. She took me to the hospital and they said, yeah, you broke your foot. And I couldn't believe it. And the thing is, uh, you know, the Tina Turner tribute. I was sick because I really wanted to do Proud Mary. They originally asked me to do Proud Mary, but I can't do rolling, rolling with my boot. But at least I got to make it work with what's love got to do, got to do with it. But I was sick. But I know the right time will come when I can do Proud Mary the right way. Because you know I would ache down. So this is just going to start turning into story times, you know. And when you have me in a room where I'm already ready for the show two hours before I have to go on stage, this is what will happen. Yeah, Grandpa literally had a heart attack. Like, he was the first car I guess I walked in front of. And I turn around and he's like, in the car, looking at me like, but behind the steering wheel like. And I'm like, okay, you done got a free show. I hope you liked what you saw. But everybody, like, just, just think on the headlines. Chloe screaming for attention has her bare ass and crack. Out in public at the Drake concert. I could see it now. I could see it now. God is good, isn't he? Hey, mommy. What are you doing? I'm on live. You don't know. You get. <laughs> but. <laughs> Wait. Huh. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> you about to say something? No. Oh. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Right now, I would have gone ham and thought I did it on purpose. What's up, Joe? I love you, Joe. No, nah, but Grandpa was wilding out. And I'm like, he got the sugar for free. He ain't paid for no sugar. He got a free show. So, that's what happened. That's my stomach. I wanted to say hello. But I'm going to start my vocal warm-ups now. I'm in San Diego. I'll see you guys on the stage tonight. I hope you like my outfit. I hope you like the show. And get tickets if you haven't and stop looking at the show online for free. Period. I still got my brace on. <laughs> so I hope you like the show, babes, because I'm putting my body out on the line. All right. God bless you guys. I love you. Peace out. A-Town Down. Okay. <laughs>